Hi from Cartagena. Cartagena. Don't ask me here. <laughs> So as a parent, you plan, you do your research, and you execute that plan to make your kid happy, such as today we were gonna take him to the beach. Said beach. Not for nothing, they have really, really cool toys at this beach, and you can build some super cool sand castles with them, but they won't let us play with them. So that's, that's the only problem I had out. You imagine being in a track hoe to the beach and just slaying the sandcastle game? I know, right? That would be cool. But Braille's not that interested in playing with a track hoe. She wants to get her feet in the water. Now we gotta go back to the dinky little desperate tourist beach. Keep my own words here. <laughs> we uh, decided to go on a little date night without the kids. Kind of, you know. Spectrum, you know. Check this out. This is so cool. That thing is stacked. Kids woke up, so no longer is date night. Look at this vegetarian pasta. You gotta be happy about that. Lots of veggies on it. Gethsemane, Hetsemane, which is in two parts, but part of it is on the beach, the other part is on the other side of the bay, so we're going to go see, we were told that's where you get the good food, the local food, it's supposed to be cheaper than where we're at, of course everything's supposed to be cheaper than where we're at. Well, let's just say it's trip up and but, uh, it's still been fun. Yeah. You'll see, there's supposed to be some beaches over there. It's a little bit nicer than this one. I'll show you a beach here. There you go. It's a little wall up in the beach. Other than that, it is just rocks. So. That's pretty much it. Also, we've seen two flags flying around. We've seen the Colombian flag, which we expected, and then there was another flag we saw all over the place. So we got curious and looked it up. Turns out that is the Cartagena flag. Right? So the Cartagena flag. And Cartagena is the capital city. So I guess you get its own flag. Which... Yeah, well, it's the flag of whatever this little state. I think they called it a... Of that area, we need to go look up the name for it, and that's their flag. Is that a flag for the district, state, yeah. province? Okay, no, so there's a specific name. I need to go look it up. Again. So it's like a state flag. They're pretty proud of it, kind of like Colorado. If you ever lived there, oh, getting some food. Is that tasty, baby? Now you're like All right, so we've been going to this coffee shop because they have these amazing bowls. 
but also because they're super close and <laughs> we're all injured. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. And they always toss in these little mints that Marcy really likes. They have a couple of different flavors. And we got some that were hopefully close to that for Tasty Tuesday, which was at the market. So we'll see, we'll find out. Restaurants around here look like five stars, and we don't want to risk one of our sweet, beautiful babies to start screaming and said beautiful restaurant. So Tabby said, we kind of feel bad because every time we go out, their poor guys are out there trying to get business. So Tabby was kind to them and went order pizza. It's really good. Yeah, it it's was. Pesto. It was just to be kind to them. I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being real selfless. They're big on pizza here. There's lots of pizzerias. It was the same way in... In Mexico? In Mexico. Lots of pizza. Anyway, I mean, you can't fall for that. Pizza's good. Pizza is good. Pizza's way good. This area is a little park that's next to Old Town, Cartagena, which is where we're staying, which is over there. Um, they have the clock tower, and then you can see the church and stuff behind that. And then there's actually part of a inlet over here across the ocean. They got like Pegasus statues and stuff. This is Vendor Row. We got a few things to send home. We're gonna go see if we can find some more. So let's see what we find. Uh, so we found a couple of little honey dippers. Gonna send these off to some family members because you guys don't know much about vegan, vegetarian people. Uh, buy stock and honey if you know one because they buy a lot of honey and go through a lot of honey. And my mom wants a big spoon, so this is the big spoon we're gonna send her. <laughs> Have, it's funny because you think that there'd be a wide variety of stuff, but ironically, every little shop is like almost exactly the same. And the fact that we found the wooden stuff here, I'm a little bit surprised because nobody else has had them. Luckily, we found them. Check this out. First time seeing a sloth in the wild, though, huh? Almost. So, I was taking video of the sloth up here and walking backwards and Brielle pointed out, there's an iguana right here. <laughs> I almost stepped on it. And it's looking at us. Oh. <laughs> There it goes. de San Felipe. Castillo, Castillo de San Felipe. Castillo. Yeah, there you go. What do we know about it? Did we hire a tour guide? Different 
direction. So we heard some uh, loud booms going off. We decided to come check it out. We're up on the rooftop of our apartment. See behind me is the big church. It's around. And look at this. So we can't see the fireworks, <laughs> but we can see the lights from them behind the church. It's pretty cool. Have a lot of rooftop activities going on, rooftop restaurants. Let's see how many we can see. We'll zoom in. One, two, three, four, five. Got oh, this cute little guy. Go set him free outside. See what's in. Go catch some buggies. Bye bye. Say hi, daddy. Say hi, daddy. Ooh. I don't think you really hear anything over the wind. Is a work of art. Eva. Hi, baby. Oh, he's so precious. So, what we're doing for Tasty Tuesday? Well, this entire, I don't know, what's this called? Walkway. Alleyway? It's just straight sweet. So we thought, there you go, it dropped right into our lap. And what day is it? It's Tuesday. Real, what time is it? Tuesday. 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 Tues
What's the good for that one's not much left? See what Brielle thinks about it. There's a pit in it. Here, just take a bite. Try this one first. Just take a little bite. Is it a fruit? Tamarindo is like, uh, let's see if I can find some at the grocery store and get some B roll sauce to throw in right here. But there's, <laughs> it's a giant brown pea looking thing. Try this one. This one is like pina colada, so it's a coconut wafer. It smells like pineapple though. Oh yeah. So it's That's the stuff right there. It's like pina colada in a. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a lot of coconut. Mmm, so good though. Hey, hi. What are you doing? That's Daddy's. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, baby. I'm gonna save that one for later. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the dulce de sure. leche. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is similar to what Marcy likes from the restaurant, so. The same? Yeah, it's a little kind of more crunchy. There's a little more firm? Well, because they're, they're in the kind of like paper, paper like their stamp on top. So this is softer? I think so. The same flavor? I think so. Yeah, very nice. All right, this one is a. Uh, it's like it's got coconut. Um. Not good. Here's some real what she thinks. I, I would say it's all right, like a. Uh, maybe six. I'm not sure what it is. Though. This guy. No, I like that one. This is my ten out of ten winner like right here. Too. So good. A little pina colada, a little piece of heaven. We'll have to do a tasty Monday and then go back and get some of those. Just kidding. Yeah, so we leave on Tuesday well, next we're week, right? We're going to have to be at the airport. I like looking forward to that. Tasty Tuesday might be in the airport next week. But they, they're out there before 9, so we might grab some of another round of street market food. That's good. All right. Late, peeps. <laughs> Just a sad face. Somebody's teething. That is a sad face. <laughs> sad face. You know what else is a sad face? Us leaving Colombia. Us leaving Colombia. <laughs> Saying goodbye. So it hasn't been long enough. There's so much stuff we still want to see. So. Yeah, we saw two things then. <laughs> we saw two things. <laughs> Say bye. But there's other cities in Colombia we want to see someday too. So we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Ciao. Dear younger self, last week I wrote to you about having a faith in a higher power and how understanding that your higher power has a purpose for you here in this life. This week I would like to dive a little bit deeper into helping you find your purpose. How many times have you wondered if you're doing what you were meant to do? Are you on the right path? Do you know what direction you're supposed to go? What if your interest doesn't match what your true purpose is? First off, your higher power created you for a reason and gave you interests that would push you in the right direction. It's up to you to follow that intuition and to start down a path that you will find more meaning in. As an example, I'll share a story I heard one time. There was a team of wildland firefighters and the team lead was newly appointed as a lead. He was tasked with hiking a steep part of the mountain to contain part of the fire that was spreading. His team hiked for over an hour, carrying heavy gear and hurrying to get to where they were supposed to be. Once they reached the top, the team lead called out on the radio to get more instructions on where to go next. He called out over and over again waiting for a response, but that response never came. The team began eating their lunch while they waited for a response from the incident command, but there was no response on the radio. After another hour or so, some members of the team were napping and others were playing simple games, all while the fire raged below them. Yet the radio was silent. Finally, a very angry captain made his way to where the team was and saw a scene that left the new team lead more than a little embarrassed. The team lead explained to the captain that the radio wasn't working and that they wanted to be sure they were headed in the right direction before setting off. 
The captain grabbed the radio and tested it. Sure enough, there was no response. He then walked 100 steps to the west and tried again, immediately getting a response. He then returned to the starting point and went 100 steps to the east and again got an immediate response. He then taught the new team lead a lesson he would never forget. You are in a dead zone. There is something blocking the signal. If you would have gone any direction, you would have gotten a response telling you if it was right or wrong. When it comes to finding our purpose, follow your intuition. You will find a passion. Instead of asking your higher power what you should do, make a decision and work towards a goal. Then ask if what you're doing is the right thing or the wrong thing. Take action. Work towards something that is meaningful to you and you will find your purpose. And having a purpose is definitely something that makes this a life worth living.